Hi, boys and girls. Today, we will be listening to the interactive read aloud about baby farm animals. How are some farm animals alike and how are some different? Let's talk about some vocabulary words that you'll hear today. Exercise. When you exercise, you use an action to get into shape. Appearance. The way that something looks is its appearance. Wander. When you wander, you move around without a specific place to go. Plenty. When there is plenty of something, there is a large amount or enough. Behavior. Behavior is the way a person or animal acts. Let's listen to the story. A farm is a busy place. Not only does a farmer grow the crops, but a farmer also watches over the many animals that live there. You can see horses, cows, ducks, chickens, sheep, and pigs at a farm. All of these animals are alike because they live on a farm but they are also very different because none of them look or sound quite the same. Every year, new farm animals are born on a farm. Some are born on the floor of a barn, while others are born in a nest. After these baby farm animals are born, their mothers take care of them. They will make sure their babies get enough food, sleep, and exercise. What animals do you see in this picture? What baby animals? You see these baby animals here, the baby chicks? What are they doing? What do you think those baby chicks are doing? Two baby farm animals are a foal and a calf. A foal is a baby horse. A calf is a baby cow. A foal and a calf are alike in some ways. They both stand on four legs and they both have hooves. Both foals and calves like to stay near their mothers after they are born. But a foal and a calf are different in their appearance. A foal can have a plain brown or black coat, while a calf can be born with black and white spots. Foals and calves also make different sounds. A foal can make a sound like neigh, and a calf will make a mooing sound. Most foals are born at night. This helps protect the baby horse from other animals that could harm it. A foal can already stand up just one hour after it's born. The mother cow licks her baby all over after it is born. This not only cleans it like a bath would, but it also puts the mother's scent on her baby. From then on, the calf always knows his or her mother. What baby animals did you see here on this page? How are these animals different? The next time you visit a farm, look out for the chicks and ducklings. You will probably see them following their mother around the barn or near the pond, or you might hear them. Chicks or baby chickens will say, cheep, cheep, cheep. A duckling or baby duck makes a quacking sound. Chicks and ducklings both stand on two legs and are born with a soft, fluffy coat. Chicks and ducklings hatch from eggs laid by their mothers. As soon as they are born, they like to get warm by sitting close to their mother's bodies. Chicks and ducklings have a lot of differences too. A chick will wander around on land, usually near the barn, while a duckling will spend its time floating in a pond. A chick is born with a beak, while a duckling has a bill. A chick is born with a tiny tooth in its beak. The chick uses the tooth to break the shell and peck its way out. When a duckling is born, it is very thirsty. It needs plenty of water to help it grow. Where is the duckling in this picture? What does a chick look like when it's born?
Lambs and piglets are common farm animals. A lamb is a baby sheep and a piglet is a baby pig. If you go near the barn, you may hear the baa of a lamb or a piglet's high squeal. Lambs and piglets are alike in some ways. They both stand on four legs and drink their mother's milk after they're born. Their mother's milk is the only kind of food they will eat for many weeks. Lambs and piglets stay with their mothers after birth. This behavior helps protect the baby animals from harm. Lambs and piglets have many differences too. A lamb is born with a soft fluffy coat while a piglet is born with smooth skin. Piglets usually live inside the barn when they are young. Lambs will stay outside. Piglets are very hungry when they are born. You may see piglets climbing all over their mother. They are trying to get as much milk as they can. A lamb spends a lot of time with, it, with its mother. If a lamb and its mother are separated, the lamb will recognize its mother by the sound the mother makes. Every baby animal needs its mother. How would you describe a lamb? What is a piglet's skin like after it's born? I hope you enjoyed hearing about the baby farm animals today. Have a great day.